Tuesday, we talked about the fact that several local groups that help victims of crime now need some help themselves. Justice coalitions in need after state funding was cut in half. So in about 30 minutes, a special event is taking place to help raise awareness and get the message to the public. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is live from the Fraternal Order of Police headquarters on Beach Boulevard, where the Voices for Victims breakfast is about to start. Ashley? Yes, Jen, we're about 20 minutes out from the start of that breakfast. A lot of people are already here. Now, state funding went from $300,000 to $150,000. Now, the Justice Coalition is still working around the clock. They have not missed a beat, but they're doing a lot more with a lot less. You can see, again, we're about 20 minutes out. Several cars are already here getting ready for that breakfast to begin. Now, this is a push to the public to help keep the Justice Coalition mission going. The missing persons, the solved homicides, the unsolved homicides. The proof is in the pictures. These young people, their lives have just begun and they've been snuffed out in a, in a moment. These faces represent just a handful of the families who've been helped by the Justice Coalition over the years. But now the group is having money problems. The push to serve hasn't changed. Every uh, month on the board of directors, we look and we see the workload is still the same. It hasn't diminished whatsoever. And matter of fact, it is more. Ray Pringle is vice chair for the board of directors. He says not only has state funding been cut in half, the number of paid staff has dropped to five, and there's no executive director. Every day, the coalition works to make hard times a little easier. From organizing events like the tossing of the roses and the ride for justice, to escorting victims and their families to court, coalition advocates have brought comfort. Volunteer Frances Futrell knows this firsthand. Her daughter, Mary Futrell Peterson, was murdered in 2002. You have the Justice Coalition to, to be there for you and to help you. It's, it's devastating when these things happen. You know. The Voices for Victims breakfast this morning will help raise awareness to what the Justice Coalition does and the importance of keeping its mission going. And the breakfast is starting in just about 15 minutes. We will be inside to cover that. Now, if you want to help the Justice Coalition, you can reach out to them directly. All the information you need to do that is on our website, newsforjax.com. Just look for the web story. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.